Yes. Everything in the universe is frequency and vibration. Everything from how vibration can heal, everything is frequency. Natural earth energies are frequency, we are frequency, our brains are frequency, everything's frequency. If it vibrates higher, it's very possible that there could be some corridor or conduit in our brains that would open up, that would allow us to see things a little bit differently during this time. So we can become smarter. Depends if you are into absorbing information, is that corridor of your brain open, yes or no, and are you willing to accept new information? Now, since everything is vibration and frequency, you'll start to notice things vibrating differently, vibrating at a higher level because there's more influx, plasma, protons, electrons, electricity, whatever you like to call it. There's more of it in the air, so you'll notice people behaving differently. Possibly your animals you've noticed in the last week have behaved very strange. This is what I'm talking about, the vibration of everything going to a higher level. Now, will that turn like you were talking about the human mind will this open a corridor or a conduit that allows us to think differently during this particular time and the last thing would be during the conjunction of mercury the sun and kava Isan coming up november 15th we would expect a large plasma filament to come from the sun connect to mercury then from mercury that plasma filament connected electrically to kava Isan would then jump and arc back to the comet which already has an incredibly long so you would see something plasma filament erupt from the sun that's incredibly long that connects to mercury out to comet Ison and then out further on the tail and we're talking 60 to 70 million miles of plasma look for strange things in the sky if you see something where you thought your eyes weren't working right where you saw a flash of maybe a blue color or a pink color or any kind of color that you see you're like did I just see that? you did that's what I'm talking about electrical phenomena
interview, a couple people had asked, uh, do you mean this is the end of our civilization as we know it or parts of it? And the answer was, no, it's not. What I'm trying to explain is that the elephant is now in the room. Comments, specifically this comment that we're watching, I'm trying to show the electrical nature of the comet by the interaction with the sun. This is true and proven as theory and fact instead of all this conjecture where people are unwilling to accept these ideas that comets have electrical influences with other bodies in space and they can no longer discount it where they must start now experimenting with ways to pull electricity from space. But this throws everything in disarray that our society is based on and the way commerce operates. We operate on oil and gas now. If we substitute that instantly with electrical current pulled from space, this is going to problem with not only garnering taxes that we pay when we pay our monthly electricity bill, all these types of things are going to decimate the stock market and the uh, commerce system as we know it. But now the idea of electric comets is so in your face, and this comet's going to prove everything about electrical conduits in space, Berkman currents, plasma discharges, effects on our planet, coronal hole effects creating earthquakes, everything's electrically connected, and this is the single pivot point of civilization where the world was flat last week, and when this comet comes through, the world will be round suddenly, and everything you've ever known about electrical generation, renewable power, the way things operate in space, they'll all have to be rethought, rewritten, all of our history books will have to be rewritten, everything will have to be rewritten starting from now, we are entering a new era, the comet's going to prove it, and that's what the videos are pretty much about.